This video will demonstrate setting up a Wago PFC200 as an EtherCAT master. For this test, we'll be using a Wago 750-8202 PFC200. And for our EtherCAT uh, device, we'll be using a 750-354 EtherCAT coupler with a 750-1506 16 channel digital output module. We'll get this all connected and we'll get ready to go. First things first, we'll go to wago.us to download the .xml file for EtherCAT. If we go to the product catalog, we'll type in 750-354 and select the first coupler. Uh, we'll go to downloads and third from the bottom will be the description file. Once we've downloaded that, we will uh, unzip it in the downloads file. And then we'll drag the uh, unzipped file to our desktop. Put that on our desktop. Now we'll open Codasys. We'll begin a new project. We'll call this uh, PFC200 underscore EtherCAT. And click OK to get started. Once Codasys opens, we'll choose the PFC200 target. First things first, we'll double click device and we'll make sure that we're communicating. Type in the IP address of our PFC200. You can see we have communication. Now we'll install the device file. We'll go to Tools and Device Repository, uh, Install, and then we'll grab the uh, .xml file of the 750-354 coupler. Once we've clicked Install, it'll install uh, both the coupler and the module uh, files. And now we'll go to Device, right-click, and go to Add Device. Here we'll have to add our EtherCAT master. Once we've added the master, we can close that. And what we'll want to do actually is go into online configuration mode by clicking the button in the menu. Uh, we'll need to tag this to the proper port, so you'll have to pay attention to which uh, port you plugged your EtherCAT coupler into. Uh, EtherCAT does require a dedicated port. Once we've done that, we will uh, select the EtherCAT master and go to online configuration. Now once we've passed all the messages and we're online with the uh, the PFC200, we'll right click on the EtherCAT master and select scan device. Uh, if not everything shows up, you can hit scan device from this window again and we'll select both and copy to project. Now once this is done, we can go into the um, field bus coupler, uh, but it's not going to allow us to make any changes until we log out. So even if we try to select, uh, we can't do that. We'll have to go out of online configuration. But now uh, we can select the I.O. modules uh, and the IO points. Here we're just going to create a variable, call it x uh, ethercat out1. This is our first uh, output of our uh, 1506 module. Now, um, just for demonstration purposes, we'll write a really simple program here. We're going to create a variable here called x switch. Uh, we're going to use this to um, toggle the output variable. So uh, in our program, we'll use our input assistant. Uh, and we will go to IO config. We'll grab our EtherCAT out one uh, tag, and we're going to just say EtherCAT out one is equal to X switch. Uh, and then, uh, in order to toggle this for ease, we'll just create a quick uh, visualization. If we go to application, right click, add object, and visualization, um, it's going to add this visualization to our project. Um, we're going to just grab a quick switch uh, from here drag this into our project, and then um, for our variable, if we go to the uh, properties, um, we'll just make our variable our uh, x switch variable from our plc underscore prg project. Now once we've done that, we can uh, we, now we can go online with the um, pfc200. So we'll go to uh, download project, or to go online. It'll ask us if we want to download, click yes. Uh, once it's downloaded the project, uh, we will switch this into run uh, on the face of the PFC200 since we have the switch in the stop position. Once we go online, uh, you can see here from the visualization that we're able to toggle on the first output of the EtherCAT coupler.